LOL. Damn. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Unforeseen Incidents. That was a crazy backstabbing sack of crap move to do. Uh, so apparently I was infected as a kid. Um, going to search around the rest of the room. I think there's only... Okay, here in the speakers and in the do drawers. You sleep at night, Professor? Yeah, yeah. How do you, huh? Well, I guess this horrible music is supposed to calm the cold, but it's just as creep. Yeah. Okay, and I'll check his drawers. <laughs> the desk is covered with McBride's notes. It's all science stuff I don't understand. And can we not do the drawers? No? Being kidnapped doesn't seem to have gotten in the way of McBride's work. I guess it was always about the science for him. I used to wonder what he thought about us dead-end Yelltowners. I guess he really didn't think about us at all. Aww. Okay. So I guess we're out of here. Now, I did get a code on that letter. You saw it on the bottom right-hand side, or if you didn't, you can go back. You'll see it uh, at the end of last episode. Uh, N-F-G-R-S-S-W, I believe. So, N, uh, F, G, R, S, S, W. Obedience is strength. Is it? When you are lacking in resolve, remember that. <laughs> But see, the funny thing is, is that they said they were going to, well, the two that were standing there before in the previous episode said they I wish I, I was looking forward to beating the crap out of that fax sack of whatever the hell. Um, so, yeah. I don't know if he's entirely involved in it or if it's that he's been re-roped into it. Yes, do you have clearance to be here? Mm. Sorry, wrong room. Don't interrupt me again. My bad. No, sure. Okay, we'll come back here. I don't want to do the. You want to recalibrate the whole thingy thing with the stuff stuff? No, not yet. We'll go explore a little bit before we die and stuff. Okay, let's walk down the hallway a little bit. Nothing. Where's this take me? I can't hide in here or nothing. Okay. The developers, writers did a great job with the story. That's for sure. Oh, crap. This is the thing oh, that... Uh... I know this. This is the place Cordero built back in Greystone. Hey! Welcome to Aquila's induction program. This is the final step on your journey to self-actualization. Please sit in the chair. I don't think so. Uh, I don't know if I want to sit in that. <laughs> I don't think you have a choice, dude. More tech like the stuff in the Greystone radio tower. Okay, we have uh, the screen. What was it Cardero said his sculpture represented? The Room of Indoctrination. Mm-hmm. Uh... I can't make any... Okay. That is quite a home entertainment system. Welcome to Aquila's induction program. Please sit in the chair. I'd rather not. Oh, damn. Horrible noise. Jeez! Ah! What the hell? <laughs> Please sit in the chair. Oh, damn. I hope I don't regret this. I'm going to have to do all the stuff with the things from the... Uh, uh, the place on the island. Welcome to induction. <laughs> Let me go! Welcome to induction. Let me out! My head's gonna explode! What is the first truth? I don't know! Let me out! What is the second truth? Uh... Just... Try to breathe, Harper. Induction session extended. What is the third truth? 
Uh... Breathe in. Breathe out. Induction session extended. What is the fourth truth? Toes, feet, Toes. arms, legs. Yes, this is it. Feet, legs, arms. Induction session extended. What is the fifth truth? Um. Home. Mom. Whoa. I just need a little time alone to think. The eagle. The eagle. The eagle. The eagle. The eagle. What? The ape climbs to the apex. Buddy, that's not helping at all. The salamander eats its brother. <laughs> Cardero, focus. I, I need to get out of here. Take out and shoot the three-legged mare. Please, Cardero. The worker at carries four times its weight. Oh, jeez. What is the first truth? Um... Weakness is death. What is the second truth? Uh... Obedience is strength. What is the third truth? Man is a predator. What is the fourth truth? Um... Weakness is death. What is the fifth truth? Uh... Quillo rising. What is the first truth? Shout. Um. Man is a predator. What is the second truth? Weakness is death. What is the third truth? Obedience is strength. What is the fourth truth? Blood is cold. What is the fifth truth? Aquila rising. What is the first truth? Son of a bit. None of this makes any sense, Obedience though. Obedience is strength. What is the second truth? Man is a predator. What is the third truth? Weakness is death. What is the fourth truth? Uh... Blood is cold. What is the fifth truth? I need to think. The eagle! The eagle! The eagle! The eagle! The eagle! The worker at carries take out and shoot the three-legged mare. The salamander eats its brother. The ape climbs to the apex. Oh, jeez. What is the first... The eagle. Aquila rising. What is the second truth? Um, what the hell was it? The ape climbs. No, weakness, weakness is, death. is death. What is the third truth? The worker ant carries. Uh, Obedience is strength. What is the fourth truth? And then it was the worker ant. Uh oh. Uh, Obedience is strength. What is the fifth truth? Okay, Aquila rising. Yeah, hang on. I need to think. Let me uh, write this all down on the back. The eagle! Man is a predator. What is the second truth? Blood is cold. What is the third truth? Weakness is death. What is the fourth truth? Obedience is strength. What is the fifth truth? I think I have it here. Aquila rising. Hello? There we go. Hello? C can I go now? Rupert was right. There's more to you than meets the eye, Mr. Pendrel. I've never known a subject so resistant to induction. Why, it's as if you had no brain to wash. Shut up. His girlfriend must be here somewhere. Dispose of her. Mom. No, stop. I know you. You're that politician, Thurlow. Uh-oh. 
Senator Thurlow, if you don't mind. Although round here, folks call me Votary. You attacked Yelltown. I ran a field experiment. The aim was to test prototype treatments for VHOV. I admit there were unforeseen incidents. Silverdale's attempted at sabotage forced us to start a little early. But it brought you here to me, so everything worked out peachy. Oh, man. What do you want from me? Well, it ain't your good looks. I'm handsome. You shut your mouth. Rupert tells me you're resistant to BHOV. That makes you very special indeed. I'm going to extract a teensy sample of your bone marrow and use it to produce a vaccine. In med school, I always lost marks for bedside manner. Can you believe that? Now try to relax, because this is gonna hurt like hell. Uh... Why do you want the vaccine? There'll be time for all that after I take the sample. Or maybe not. I don't really care. Hold still. No! No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that did hurt like a you-know-what. God, I hate this woman. What a brave boy. Try not to bleed out now, you hear? Uh, Harper! You found her, Rupert. Good job. What an ass. Look at this. Hello, well, let... <laughs> let her go. It's so nice that we're all getting to know each other at last. But I've got my vaccine and a plane to catch, so... Come on, McBride. Kill her. Kill the girl. Wait! Won't you at least tell us why you've done all this? <laughs> How charmingly gauche. Pendril, now you're supposed to say, you'll never get away with this. You will never. <laughs> Not a great line, Reedon. If you want to know why, Rupert can tell you. You first told me the idea when we were students. I don't think I believed you could really do it until Yelltown. The plan was to conjure up the fear of a worldwide pandemic, then cure it. Play the hero. Sylvia becomes the head of the Global Health Initiative, with all the power that entails. And then... And then lather, rinse, repeat. A world without sickness is possible, and I can't let that happen. From the big grand coolie dam to the H-bomb, we have put science to work for us. Why not disease, too? What about the innocent people who die? In Yelltown? Greystone? Set dressing. You're a murderer! Um, no, I want to find out this. Why are you helping her, Professor? Was this your plan all along? No, I swear it. It isn't easy to betray someone you love. I'm sorry. Sorry? Is that supposed to make... Looks like the milk of human kindness has finally turned sour. You're a murderer, Thurlow. I'm a politician. That means making the hard choices. If a politician offers people hope, she'll only end up disappointing them. But if I give people something to fear, offer them safety, order, keep the good people healthy, the bad people sick, well then, folk will sell their own skins just to huddle under my wing. This is insane. You... You can't believe all that apex predator bullcrap. Of course not. But I know folk will die in their boots for a catchy slogan. So it's just about power. What in the hell do you mean just about power? I'm about to save a million lives. I'm a national hero. Who wants to touch me? <laughs> just kidding. I would never let any of you <laughs> I've heard enough. You and me both. I got what I came for. Rupert, sedate the boy. And shoot that snooping gutter rat. No! Oh! oh, man. Did he shoot himself? Or just the light bulb? Or please tell me Hello was not dead. Oh, damn it. You're going to make me do this crap again? <sighs> Fine. Where the hell is that going?
Well, I guess it's coming from here. Uh huh. Oops. Right. There. And we can do that won't help us at all. That won't help us at all. Mm. How do I get this up to here? Like, I need it to be over here. This isn't going to help, I don't think. Nope. Hmm. How does... Okay, that's that. there to there to there ah so close I need that to go there somehow uh, nope how the hell do I get this over here Like, this has to come from over here somewhere. So what if I did... There we go. Unit successfully hacked did it did. Ooh, so scary. And... I'm calling it right here. I'm sorry, folks, but yeah, I just looked at the time. We're over 25 minutes, I believe. So thank you so very much for watching. I'm going to continue playing right now. So you're going to see me just basically cut here, end, and then start the new episode right here. So thank you very, very, very much for watching. I do appreciate it, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.